All right, so in this short video, we're gonna cover how to open up a sub account or multiple sub accounts. Now, the benefit of offering sub accounts is that you can have on opposing positions at the same time. So on other derivatives platforms, if I was to be in a long position, let's say for 10,000 contracts, and then I opened up a short position for 10,000 contracts, that would just be an opposing position. It would close out my original long position. So we couldn't have these two positions open at the same time. And you might ask, you know, why would you want to do this at the same time? Why would you want to be both in a long and a short? Well, let's say that price was moving sideways. We we're experiencing a compression of volatility. I'm not sure where the market is going to go, but I know that when it moves, it's going to be violent or it's going to be impulsive. If I have a sub account and I have one account that is long and one account that is short, I can essentially be in position early and then just close out the position that is on the wrong side of the market. So we could do that. We can have sub accounts that run different strategies or approaches. It's really up to your level of creativity what you'll do with all of these different accounts. So to create a sub account, we're going to go to the upper right hand corner of our screen where our email address is and we'll see this drop down box and we're going to go ahead and click on sub accounts. Now from here, it is a very simple process. You can see that currently we have multiple accounts on this page. We have one main account and then four sub accounts that I created. In the main account, we have a Bitcoin wallet balance. Now what I need to do is go to this main account. So I'm going to click switch. And now from here, we're on the sub account page and I'm just going to go ahead and add sub account. So now you've seen that I've added a fifth sub account. So now all we need to do is transfer capital or Bitcoin or USD in between these accounts. So currently we're in the main account and I could go to this new account that I've created. I will go to transfer. And in this case, we're gonna transfer all. Once I select all, it's gonna show our current balance in our main account, select confirm. And now you can see that I've transferred the Bitcoin that was in the main account to the newly created sub account. Now from here, we could change around a few things. We could go to settings and we could change the sub account nickname. So let's say that I want this to be my low time frame scalp account. So now low time frame scalp. I could change this to be disabled or open. So right now it is normal. I could change the email and I could change the password or create a password for this account. So this is how you create a sub account. You could have multiple sub accounts and you could pretty much do anything that you could come up with from a trade sense uh, while running these different accounts.